Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So remember the energies can go both ways. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Looks like there's something there. It's like a weight or a distance, but it's in limbo. So it's kind of like up in the air. Or it could be something that's like one foot in, one foot out type energy, hesitant, indecisive, however it applies. All right. Uh, Virgo, let's get in a shuffle long enough. Media future. Uh, somebody's realizing the feelings are involved. The love is there. The King of Wands was down there. He could be done with the Aries Leo Sag. Doesn't have to be. You got the Page of Wands, the Three of Cups. Somebody's trying to see you. You have multiple options here, but somebody's trying to rekindle something. You could just be, uh, for some, very active, like going out, socializing, hanging out with friends. You got the moon in Sagittarius. Be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. You also have full moon. Take time to relax, recharge, replenish your inner strength. So what is this page of wands here? Uh, it looks like something is kind of amplifying. Like curiosity is coming to a full peak. You do have multiple options here. I see where something ended here in the background. <clears throat> For some, it could be around work or career. It doesn't have to be. But it looks like things are kind of picking up now. They're moving forward. Thank you. The hangman. Oh, you got the hangman and the seven of swords. I mean, sorry, the seven of cups. So this is the energy that's like interested, curious, but stuck. You do have a lot of options. So you could just be kind of hanging out and seeing what's going on. <clears throat> but this is a whole lot of Uranus energy, which is, I'm sorry, Neptune, which is like, um, it's kind of like just something that's stuck there. It's almost like the energy could feel like it's just not moving. For some, you could be nervous or, I mean, this is kind of like a daydreaming, fantasizing type energy, but nervous to take action, whoever that is over there. Show me this three of cups for um, Virgo, please. Yeah, somebody's trying to figure out how to see you. This King of Wands, Aries Leo, Sag energy, they're very attracted to you, but they're trying to, it could be to reconcile because it looks like this person's been thinking about you. Could be trying to ask you out, <clears throat> maybe just grab your attention, but it doesn't feel like there's been like a lot of movement so far. For some, you both could kind of have options. This could actually be something that ended. Like this person's really worried now that it's over. They're trying to see you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me this Queen of Wands for the outcome for... Oh, shit. Hold on. I dropped them. Okay. Sorry about that. Show me the Queen of Wands for the outcome for Virgo, please. Five of Pentacles. Damn. You may ghost, ghost this person. Or depending on which way it's going. The Five of Pentacles is a card of um, definitely not entertaining it. It's a card of ghosting. Not going towards something. You may kind of go like all the way silent here. Show me the Five of Pentacles, please. The Empress, Taurus, Libra, Energy. It does feel like... Like this, this means something on some type of level. For some, the Five of Pentacles can be like a card of uh, financials problems, but it looks like you're you're cutting out what's no longer serving you here with the Ace of Swords, the Hermit. That's your energy. Yeah, this person may have broke your heart before. This is a um. 
a pretty heartbroken energy for the outcome. And the reason it feels like it's not on like the feminine side is just because it's coming in as the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is confident and has options. Um, you, you could just be like rejecting this offer, no longer going towards it. But that could be, um, you know, that unexpected plan changing. Definitely got you on the mind thinking about you. But somebody is pretty miserable without you as well. All right, Virgo. Oh, it, it does come back around. It's not like right here coming in the immediate future, but there's like gifts, apologies, uh, could be invites. This could be somebody that you're dating, friends of benefits situation. Um, could also be for some, somebody you have children with, something like that. All right, Virgo, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.